All right, I'm not doing video or anything. I just wanted to show a clip quick because I noticed something in GPT today when I was working on image generation. It's a little buggy still, so I don't know if it lets me go back previous. Okay, this is working. So now you have this image editing brush. You can change the brush size if you want. And you can select part of the area in the image that you want to change. And then you can edit the selection and give it a prompt. So let's say the Wookiee should be playing drums instead of playing guitar in this case. It'll give me a new version of this image. So it gives you this editing space and then it gives you the thread on the right instead of the nav, which is kind of cool. Um, I haven't been super impressed with any of the AI image editing uh, functions, especially when you're using a second prompt to edit that part of it. But let's see how it does, because I just noticed this, so I haven't tried it yet. I think it's stuck. It's thinking pretty hard about what it wants to do. Oh, oh, it got rid of them. <laughs> so not great, but at least I can, I can actually downvote or not. I can just say it wasn't very good, but I can go back to the original image that I was looking at um, and edit some of this. So it's coming. It's not great out of the gate, but um, at least it's here. And you can work, do more of your workflow within GPT instead of having to jump over to Dolly and try to make that work instead. I think GPT actually ends up doing a better job of composing the prompt, but it does. The more context you have in a thread, the more it gets confused about what you wanted originally versus what you want now. So I tend to spin up new threads uh, fairly often for this. But anyway, I wanted to show that functionality. I'm not going to make you wait through a new one, um, but it's there and it's ready.